So a few days ago, Erlene had a play date with Ethel, and today I'm giving her a new friend to have a play date with because we're slowly integrating her into our broodmare herd since before I got her, she never had a pasture mate. So we don't want to just throw her to the wolves. We got to we gotta slowly allow her to learn how to make friends since she has no social skills. Cool, Mama. You're up next. You got to be nice to Miss Erlene, though. Indy, you're going to be the last one because you're the most sassy and hostile. Is a new friend coming to you? Are you so excited? You two look alike, don't you? All right, you two, make good choices. Look at them. Not doing much, are you? Oh, cool, you can't be clicky. She went and stood next to her old friends and then started getting, oh, she's establishing her dominance a little bit there. Look at that. I mean, Erlene is in heat right now, so that tail's flying up. Also, do you see all this grass out here and they choose to do this meeting on like the rocky spot? Why? Why? Oh, oh, I caught a little mini cow racing session on the side. They caught a little wild hare and had to go racing. <laughs> so there is a 14 year age difference between cool and Erlene and I think Erlene is like acting like a baby right now. She's like, I don't want to, I don't want grandma to get mad at me right now. So she's just kind of <laughs> standing over here looking at Cool longingly. All right, Cool's venturing out into the pasture. Let's see if Erlene follows. She might be too scared to. <laughs> okay, but can we talk about what a babe Cool is for 20 years old? Like, holy crap. She's ridiculous looking, still. Gorgeous. All right, Cool's making a move to the hay. And Erlene is gonna follow. Old woman is making the charge, which is good. I'm glad that Cool, you know, stands up for herself being the older one. Oh Lord. And I'm glad Erlene is respecting it. You know, Erlene's not really putting up a fight. Oh, okay, never mind. I mean, she's gotta defend herself, but it's good that there is a hierarchy. Like, there's got to be some respect going on, you know? So, it'd be bad if Cool was setting these boundaries and then Erlene was like, no, I'm the boss mayor and like going after her, but that's not happening. So, that's good. Cool. You can't just hang out with Ethel the whole time. You got to make new friends. You can't just ignore all the young ones that come through. You did this to Ginger, too. Ah, you hear me. Poor Arlene's afraid to move. She's just standing over here like, I don't want to move. Every time I do, Miss Cool gets really mad at me. Well, that was really anticlimactic, but honestly, that's fine. I don't mind anticlimactic. Uh, the only one that I'm a little bit like, mm, about is introducing her to Indy, because Indy is the boss mayor, is the aggressive one, and we're going to have to be careful with that. I mean, they have been sharing a fence line for like weeks now, so that at least is helping us out. Um, and I think introducing her maybe individually will be better than just throwing her in there with Indy's like herd, you know. So she and Cool are, seem to be fine. She seems to be respecting Cool's boundaries. She and Ethel are good. They were good from the beginning. Uh, so yeah, as soon as she's good with Indy, then all four will start going out all together and Erlene will be a part of the Broodmare crew. So that's exciting. Let me know if you have any questions.